Hey everybody, I wanna show you how to put powder coat paint on a jig head. So if you wanna learn how to do that, just stick around, it'll just take a minute. We'll do this quickly, because I'm gonna show you the super simple process. This does not have to be complicated. You, know, you can paint jig heads or any sort of lead or metal lure with all kinds of different paints and fingernail polish and all kinds of crazy things. But by far, I think powder coating is the simplest and you can do, kind of do the nicest job in a, in a real fast sort of way. So what we've got here in the shop now, we just got this in, it's a Protec Power Paint, Powder Paint. Um, it's just a brand of powder paint and I, I've noticed in using it a little bit that it seems to be quite an improvement over the powder coating that I used to do many years ago. This stuff goes on well and it seems to be super strong, so I kind of like it. Okay, the first thing about powder coating and this type of paint is that you, you need to get a lot of air in it. So when you get your container here, we're gonna shake it up really good and get it nice and fluffy. The guys that do a lot of this, you, they'll have what's called a, a fluid cup or a flow cup, which mine was just a, a PVC cap and drill a hole in the bottom and run a little airline from like an aquarium pump, small aquarium pump, and get a little air. So that air, having that air in there helps it coat onto your jig head or whatever you're doing very evenly and in a nice sort of way. But we don't need to do that. I'm going to show you the super simple way. Okay, powder coating goes on with heat. You need to have a heat source. So the best way to do it is with a heat gun. And I don't have a heat gun here, so the second best way to do it, or another way to do it, is just with a candle. All you need is a heat source. A little open flame works just fine. So we're going to take a jig head here. This is just your basic Oregon Tackle bullet head, half ounce. We'll go ahead and do this one. Now I've got the, here's an eighth ounce. Now I'm just going to show you this. The, the trick to this is to get enough heat on in, into your metal to get it the right temperature so it'll actually melt the paint onto your jig head. So obviously having more mass, a half ounce jig head is going to take more heat than a, an eighth ounce. So it's just, just common sense. So with this, you're going to heat it up for maybe 15 seconds, 20 seconds. It, it's just kind of a guess. And as the more you do it, you, you kind of figure it out. With an eighth ounce, maybe only eight or 10 seconds. So it's pretty simple. Now, most guys that do this are just going to use their fingers. But since I'm doing this for public viewing, I'm going to go ahead and use, you know, safety first. So this works well. I like these because they, they close down and, and you know, they don't fall off. You can just use needle nose, you can use whatever, but that, that's all there is to it. All right, now the only trick, I guess, or anything that, that I don't want to do here is hold it straight over the flame and get that black soot onto the lure because I think that's gonna impede the, the coating from sticking to it, you know? So I'll hold it off to the side a little bit. I don't want it to smoke. I'm just gonna rotate that around, give it a good 15, 20 seconds or so and heat that up really good. Now, if I was gonna do a lot of this, I wouldn't be doing it here in the shop. I'd be in my garage with the doors open, a little ventilation, <laughs> it's not bad when you're working with paint and lead, right? So we'll just heat that up good. And then I've shaken this, gotten a lot of air in it and you can see how powdery that is. Okay, now the trick here is to do it quickly. Okay, so we're just gonna dip it in and shake it off right away. Okay, now you can see how that's starting to melt on there a little bit, but it's not nice and shiny. Okay, I didn't quite get the lead hot enough, but no problem at all. All you do is put it back over the heat and you're gonna see that kind of melt on there and it's gonna turn nice and shiny. Kind of bake on there. There we go, see how that's turning shiny and real pretty. Beautiful. Okay, there we go. Now, I made a little mistake there. You can see a little bit of smoke coming off here. I got it a little too hot doing that, so don't do that. And that's why you know, I should be in a real nice ventilated area here. But you shouldn't, you don't want smoke, you don't want to burn it. But I, that's not bad at all. It's not, I wouldn't call that burned. But that's perfect. That's ready to fish. Now, on this one, 
the, the powder coating, you know, the eye on this didn't get filled up with the powder coat, but you just take a paper clip or a nail or some sort of a metal piece like that, run it through, make sure your eye's not, you know, covered up. Let that cool, and that's ready to fish. And I tell you, you know, I've done a few of these, just kind of practicing. Here's an eighth ounce I did, and I was trying to scratch the paint off, see how tough it is, and this stuff is tough. It really is, you know, so you can take this out and fish right now, it's ready to go. The, the second step that you can take is to put it in an oven, hang them in an oven for 20 minutes or so at 350 degrees, that's what it says on the container here. And that'll bake it on and, and make it really super hard, kind of cure it. But that might not be even something that you need to do. You know, it's, it's kind of a one step process and that's ready to go. So we've got these uh, Protect powder coating paints in stock now and it, kind of fun, easy to do, brighten up your jigs. And you can also do, like I could heat this up a little bit and stick it in this, you know, any of the other colors here, the pink, chartreuse, orange, purple, black, whatever, make two tone. You can take a little different color and sprinkle it on there and you can do all kinds of crazy things with them. Another thing you can do, I've seen a lot of guys do this, is your, your cannonball weights, okay? You can color code them. You do all your two ounce green, all your four ounce red, and, and so forth, whatever. And that makes it easy, especially if you have a lot of people on your boat and they're not so familiar with fishing. You can tell them, you know, instead of grab the two ounce or grab the four ounce, they grab the red one or the green one. That's a lot easier. And some people will tell you too that if you powder coat them, they don't make as much noise on the bottom. They, they like the way they, they drift along the bottom better and they're less noisy and maybe get hung up less. You know, I'm not sure about that. And also maybe they bang against your boat, they don't do as much damage, I don't know. But, but powder coating your lead weights, definitely an option and, and makes things kind of simple. So you can come on here in the store in Woodland, Washington, check them out, We've got them online. And uh, I think you'll have some fun powder coating some lures. So get at it and be sure to subscribe.